bell button. In this video, we are going to see about steady state error. Actually, the definition of steady state error is it is the value of error signal E of t when time tends to infinity. It is the definition for steady state error. Then steady state error is measure of a system accuracy. By using steady state error, we can measure the system accuracy. Then steady state error depends upon the nature of inputs, type of system and non-linearity of system components. So these are all the important points related with the steady state error. Suppose if the, this is the closed loop system, so here this is feedback at steady state output here error equal to 0. It means at steady state output, output is directly proportional to reference input alone. So we see at steady state here C of S will come after multiplying with this feedback gain here one value will come. It means its value here equal to 0 when the output is steady state. So at the time error equal to 0. If suppose if there is a deviation in the output or error in the output what will happen? So it will come some value. So now at error signal equal to R of S minus this value. This value is nothing but H of S into C of S. Therefore at this value E of S is error signal. So error signal E of S equal to R of S minus H of S into C of S. We already know output or response of a closed loop system C of S equal to E of S into G of S. E of S into G of S. So now we have to substitute this into this equation. Therefore we will get error E of S equal to R of S minus H of S into E of S into G of S. So now we have to bring errors, error terms into left hand side. So we will get E of S plus this will become plus here E of S, H of S into E of S into G of S equal to R of S. So now we can take E of S outside from these two terms. Therefore E of S into 1 plus H of S into G of S equal to R of S. So finally error equal to R of S divided by 1 plus H of S into G of S. So error will vary depends upon the its parameter and also order of the system. So this is the expression for error signal of a closed loop system. So now we are going to derive about steady state error. Let ESS is the steady state error. So we know, so we know already steady state error equal to the error signal at t tends to infinity. Therefore, limit t tends to infinity e of t. So this is the steady state error. So we know the final value theorem. We know the final value theorem of Laplace transform. So from it, suppose if f of s equal to if f of s equal to Laplace transform of f of t, then final value theorem is limit t tends to infinity f of t equal to limit s tends to 0 s into f of s. So now we have to apply this into this final value theorem. We will get the steady state error. So now steady state error ESS equal to limit t tends to infinity E of t. So we know this is the steady state error for ESS. This is the steady state error according to the definition. Therefore limit t tends to infinity for E of t equal to limit S tends to 0 S into error signal in terms of Laplace transform. So therefore we can say finally 
steady state error in terms of s domain equal to limit s tends to 0 s into e of s therefore this is the expression for steady state error calculation so by using final value theorem based on the definition of steady state error we can get this expression in terms of Laplace transform